Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land this evening? This is Grandpa, or this morning, or this afternoon, I don't know, whatever day it is, whatever time it is you're watching this. I thought today, <laughs> thought today I'd do something a little different. You know, so many people talk about having their homestead, and, and, and as I've explained to everybody, my channel's going to get back into being a homesteading channel. Um, not fishing, not scuba diving, but I'm going to go back into, not sailing, uh, but back into homesteading. So if that's the kind of stuff you want, go ahead and delete, unsub, whatever you need to do. Uh, but my channel is going to go back I, into the homesteading stuff. Um, but in any event, in regardless, whatever channel uh, you would be going into, whatever, if you want to be a YouTuber and you're, or you want to follow a dream, I guess. I guess that's the best way to look at that. If you want to follow your dream, what are you willing to do to make that happen? You know, just how committed are you? <laughs> Lily's playing with her toy here. Come on. Hi there. Hi there. Can I tilt this down so you can see you? Hello. There's Lily. Are you having fun with that toy? Are you? Are you having fun with that? All right, go on. Go have fun. So my question is, is if you want to be a homesteader, if you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to be a sailor and have a sailing channel, if you want to, whatever, whatever genre, or interest, or passion you have in life, what are you willing to do to make that happen? And as most of you know that have been watching my channel for a while, I've had a real tough time. Oh, I'm not going to turn too far. I'll get blinded by the light. I've had a real tough time. Eh, you know what? I need a little bit more light on my left side. <laughs> Look at this. Bang. Just put that on. A little more. A little more. A little more. There, now we're a bit better balanced. There, now we're perfectly balanced. How's that? <laughs> you know, so what are you willing to do? How, how far are you willing to get? Uh, how hard are you willing to work? For how long are you willing to do it? Um, you know, when I was up in Alaska, 2016, 2017. So it's been four years now. Well, you know, I I was uh, developing a homesteading channel. I, you know, that's always been my passion. I guess that's been my true. It's one of the reasons why we moved up to Alaska, although that was a bad choice. Uh, one of the reasons why we lived lived in Montana. One of the reasons why I lived in Ohio. You know, I was born and raised in New York on Long Island originally. So. I was, a, I was a city boy, 30 miles outside of Manhattan, you know, we used to go, we used to go to the clubs, we'd go discoing and dancing back in, back in the day, back in the late 70s, um, early 80s. And then I moved to Ohio because I preferred that lifestyle, that homesteading, independent kind of lifestyle. And we had some, some ground there, ground that I kind of messed up, but can't look back, you always got to go forward. Always look forward. Looking back is a waste of time, man. The past is just a goodbye. Anyhow, so uh, I guess the reason why I wanted to create this video was to demonstrate a little bit about how far I've been willing to go. I've been working now on getting back into homesteading. I kind of got sidetracked with the idea of doing a sailing channel and wanting to go sailing and that was a passion that I had. It was a dream that I had with my wife at the time. I really wanted to take her sailing around the world. I think it would have been a lot of fun seeing the world through her eyes for the first time. I've traveled all around the world, been there, done that, not on the water but by, by plane. Uh, in this particular case I wanted to see what it would have been like by sailboat. It seemed like a affordable way of sailing around the world. Um, not so affordable when you consider the cost of a sailboat, but nonetheless. Um, anyhow, so I got sidetracked with the idea of wanting to do that, and the real thing that I want to do, um, and what I plan on doing in my retirement as I settle down, having a little gentleman's homestead, having a little farm, having my critters around me, and being able to do that kind of healthy uh, lifestyle. And one of the ways I plan on funding that is through the creation of my YouTube channel, through you guys. Uh, and because, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time, effort, and energy. Well, I'm sorry. 
It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy, it doesn't take a lot of physical effort. I'm not out there digging a ditch, as it were, uh, trying to create YouTube, although I will be digging ditches for my homestead, so I guess I will be digging ditches, any of them. Uh, I'm not afraid of the hard work, I'm just trying to figure out a way of making some income that would be fun to do, and making YouTube channels is fun to do. So uh, what are you willing to do to make that dream happen? So I got to the point where, you know, I went back up to Ohio, as many of you know, and I helped out Johanna, my ex-wife up there, and helped her save her house. She was about to lose it. She was getting notices from, from, the, uh, from the bank that she had to leave, and I was able to thwart that for her and get her safe, safe and established, and, and um, so now she's secure. She has her house. She's got uh, the ability to live in her house for the rest of her life. Um, without any mortgage. So uh, she's collecting rent from a tenant in the house, uh, plus her social security and her VA benefits from her ex-husband, her second husband. Uh, so she's, she's secure, she's good. She didn't need me there anymore. And so I left, came down here to Florida where I could work, leave that alone. Came down here to Florida where I could work. I'm a real estate broker here in Florida, and so I came down here to work and earn money. Now, being a real estate broker in Florida is not easy. It's hard work, but I'm doing it. I'm doing the do, trying to make enough money so I can get back up to some place, probably back to Ohio near my grandkids is what I'm thinking, um, so that I can have some place in their existence. Um, but it's also, uh, it's good ground. You know, it's good ground for having a homestead. All of the things that I would want to have are available there. <clears throat> it's, it does get hot, but not too hot. It does get cold, but not too cold. You know, it doesn't get cold like we had up in Alaska where things were just life-threatening. And it's not too hot like it is down here in Florida where things are just so hot. Once again, it's life-threatening. Ohio is sort of a middle road. Yes, you can die of exposure in Ohio, but you're... <laughs> You're really limited, uh, and you'd have to work at it to kind of make that happen, or be in a caught in a real bad situation, which I guess that can happen. So here I am in Florida. I'm busting butt. I'm living in my tiny little apartment. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. Now, I wasn't going to do this before, but I'm going to show you guys around my little apartment here just so you can have an idea. And I can do all of that simply by sitting here in my chair and spinning a 360 and you will see my entire apartment. Okay, there's my bedroom. Okay, that's my bedroom. There's my kitchen, my refrigerator, rack with pots and pans and microwave on it, stove, sink. It's got a little bar sink, that's all that's on it. It's just a little tiny bar sink. And my bathroom in through there does have a nice shower, but it's just, you know, a standard tub. That's my front door. This is my storage unit with all my stuff in storage. Uh, file cabinets, my desk for real estate and YouTube production. You can see I have, I have lights, I have microphones. You can see my little Blue Yeti right there. Um, so that's my little studio set up, but it is also my work desk, it is also my dining room table, uh, it's my living room, okay, the, these are the conditions under which I'm living here in Florida and willing to do um, temporarily, <coughs> temporarily. To, uh, to save the money, to make the money, to save the money, and to get things going. Now, I have currently three major YouTube channels that I'm working on. This is one of them, my homesteading channel. And I've decided here, that since I can't homestead, <coughs> oh, I could do some different things, like, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill these with some soil and get some seed started and stuff, and I'm gonna do a little bit of that kind of stuff here. <coughs> try to uh, try to get some stuff going. 
I'm sorry if I have to drink a lot while I'm doing my show, but I have to keep my throat clear. I have, uh, I don't know, something in my throat that's been a problem. I've gone to the doctor, I've had some surgery done on it, um, but it still irritates me from time to time while I'm talking. So it needs lubricant. Oh, hello, dog. Oh, hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. You okay, huh? Now, Miss Lily does have a good sized yard for her to play in out back, although I have to keep her supervised uh, because it does not have a uh, fence on this side and she can get out. It's three sides are fenced. Uh, three and a half sides are fenced, but this way she could get out and I don't want her to, so I have to be out there supervising her. Um, the neighbors on the other side of that wall, they have two young children. Um, they're scared to death of dogs, just scared to death. So I have to go outside and make sure there's no kids out in the yard first and then let Lily out <laughs> to do her business. Uh, it's a minor problem, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So Miss Lily's got a good place here to be, but Miss Lily doesn't like the heat, and neither do I. Plus, we get critters in the yards here that she is not uh, too keen on. She, she's, a, she's afraid of them. She's flat out afraid of them. Um, we get, uh, there, you know, some snakes will come through, um, mostly uh, harmless snakes, but snakes will come through. Um, we get um, uh, chickens, surprisingly. There's wild chickens that come through the area here, um, but mostly it's the it's the big lizards <laughs> that seem to weird her out. Uh, and of course, you know, Florida is full of them, so uh, we get we get a lot of big lizards coming through, uh, and that kind of bothers her. So, other than that, I don't know what else we, we get here. Um, the lady in the apartment next door said she's seen some raccoons here. Um, but I know Lily will go outside sometimes, raise her hackles, and, and be really spooky and walk back in the house. So, <laughs> something here in the backyard. I haven't, I, we're fenced, so there's no gators or anything like that coming in the yard, but uh, oh well. Anyhow, the point is, and the reason why I'm showing you all this is because sometimes you got to do the do in order to earn the goals that you want to achieve. Sometimes you've got to be willing to be uncomfortable. Sometimes you've got to be willing to work really hard. Now, I am generating content for my other two channels on a much more regular basis than I am this one. Um, I don't want to share what I'm doing with those other two channels at this time. I will at some point. I'm not sharing on this channel what I'm doing on my other two channels just because I don't want the, the trolls from this channel to go over there and impact that. Um, but. Uh, but I am having some success. They are growing. They're growing slowly, but they are growing. They're doing well. Uh, it, but, you know, it's a year. It's going to be a year of dedication. It's going to be a year of posting videos on a constant, ongoing, relentless fashion. Uh, much as I did on this channel to begin with, and as I'm going to, as you'll see now, as you'll see now, I will be back to generating content on here on a regular basis. Um, been doing some research on farms in the area. I think I might start doing some tours of some of the farms here in the area. Of course, that's, you know, weather contingent. Um, it is hot here in South Florida. It's 90 degrees every day. Um, and thunderstorms every day. Every day it rains here and every day we have 90 degree weather. So those two things make it, um, you know, kind of uncomfortable to get out and go walking around looking at places and looking at stuff. Uh, but I certainly need to get that done. Uh, so I may start generating some of that kind of content for this channel. In the meantime, I'm going to find some little things to do here and there. Uh, I may do a little bit of a tour of the backyard here. I don't uh, do anything in the backyard, but we've got papayas. Uh, papayas? Papayas. Is that what those are? Yeah, papaya. Papayas growing. We've got bananas growing. Um, and coconuts growing in the backyard here in my little apartment. So I think that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I soon I'm going to put some tomatoes out there and maybe some uh, cucumbers or pickles or something. I don't know. I haven't decided what seeds I'm going to plant yet. It's going to be something that can deal with the heat because it does get hot here. Uh, I'm going to have to do container growing. Everything's going to be in buckets because it's too, uh, too sandy, too salty here to, to do anything else. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see what happens. You know, I may just be an exercise in futility, but we'll find out. So, 
Anyhow, so I wanted to get on here and give you a little bit of a uh, introduction on my life here in Florida and what that's like, and a little demonstration of, you know, the hardships of having to live like this in a tiny little space. Um, you know, frankly, it's actually more comfortable than my than my apartment or my cabin up in Alaska. <clears throat> I have I have running water, which I did not have in my cabin in Alaska. I don't have to go outside to the outhouse in some zero weather <clears throat> like I had to do there. So I do have I do have running water, which is great. Um, uh, here I'm air conditioning all the time. There I was heating all the time. So uh, air conditioning is easier. I don't have to go out and cut and split and cut firewood and drag in trees and cut them up and split them and dry them and all that kind of stuff. But, but I do have to pay the electric bill. So. And Florida Power and Lights is not a cheap electric company. Uh, electric's expensive down here in Florida, so as is the water bill. But hey, if you want to do it, if you want to have a homestead, if you want to achieve your goal, you gosh darn better be willing to do the work necessary, suffer the hardships, and knuckle down and do what you got to do. So if you want that homestead, then then start doing it. Do what you have to do. Make the cuts necessary, you know, get rid of the stuff, whatever, move to where you need to move to. Cut back on your expenses as much as you, as much as you can to save as much as you can. Um, I'm living here about as cheaply and as affordably as I possibly can, not having much fun. Not going out to movies, not going out to do stuff. I don't go out shopping and spend a lot of money on anything, on anything. Groceries is my single biggest uh, budget item. And uh, my biggest splurge is I do like to drink a little wine or a little beer in the evening, uh, so I do have a little bit of that. Um, but you know that's that's the only pleasure <laughs> we're having right now. So uh, it's quiet, it's lonely. I'm here by myself with no family around, uh, but I'm knuckling down and doing the job, and that's the thing you got to be willing to do. So. A lot of people question, well, how do you get started as a YouTuber and how do you get started as a homesteader? Well, this is how you do that. Okay, I need to buy some land um, and I've had a lot of obstacles. Credit. Credit was a huge obstacle for me. Absolutely huge obstacle. I mean, I had, uh, after my divorce with Penny and, and having lost everything that we did up in Alaska, my credit, my credit was so bad people looked at my cash funding. And uh, now I'm getting credit card offers all the time because my credit's that good. I've really built that up. So I've got the credit where it needs to be. Now I'm putting together the, the down payment kind of money, working on that. And I will probably have that done with it at the end of the year here or so. so. Anyhow, kid, just want to jump on and let you know, if you want to have a homestead, you want something like that, you got to do the work. You got to make the concessions and do the hard work and that's what I'm doing right now. It's all about hard work and getting myself together to buy that property. So, And we'll be doing that soon. Alright kids, I'm going to end this here. Be good, be careful. Please do take care, good care of one another. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Share my videos if you would on your social media so I can help build my, uh, my thing. And give us a thumbs up. Get on there and give us a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Alright kids, I'll have more for you in the near future. Thank you.